Hello everyone and welcome to another video on the TOLIS Airbus A321 and today we're going to look at the autopilot features and how we use the uh, autopilot in this aircraft. This is not realistic procedures, this is just showing you how the aircraft systems can be used by you and your home flight simulator uh, to uh, fly the Airbus. I do have uh, real flying experience on the Airbus, I've flown it for a few years and hopefully this can bring another perspective onto your home simulation. It's not for any real world use, of course. So let's get into the flight deck and here we are. And I'm on a flight plan that I've loaded up. If uh, you need any help getting the aircraft set up from cold and dark or for loading up the MCDU, which is uh, on the Boeing optical DFMS, this little computer, then I have other videos, which I'll provide links to now uh, if you need any help getting those set up. But we are still flying our departure now. Uh, this was a flight from Edinburgh, Echo Gold Papa Hotel, down to, as you can see, Gatwick, Echo Gold Kilo Kilo. And we've taken off, and now we've reached our uh, initial level off, flight level 100 on the SID. So to start with, we're going to look at further climb options. That was what we would be expecting to do at this point. And we're going to be using the FCU. So this is how the pilots uh, interact with the uh, autopilot, or the uh, FMGC of the Airbus. It's this little panel here and through this we can interact with the autopilot and we'll see all the different modes available to us today or most of them certainly the ones that we use most often in a, a routine flight like this so let's pretend that air traffic control clears us to climb further so i'm going to bring up the pft we can see at the moment we are in nav so we are flying along our green line which we coded in earlier on the ground uh, and which is our sid uh, and that's fine the airplane will keep flying that so let's say that air traffic control clears us to climb up to flight level 200. So to do that, there's uh, three ways we can do it um, primarily. One of the most standard ways would be uh, what I'm about to show you. So we'll go to our altitude knob here below the little out window. And this altitude is always displayed um, so that you know where the aircraft is going to level off. So now I can, if I move the mouse so we get these up and down arrow and then using the scroll wheel, uh, as long as you have that enabled you keep scrolling up to 200 or 20,000 so that appears now as 20,000 we can see that on our PFD now flight level 200 and the reason it says flight level is because we've already set standard here so that says flight level 200 great but the airplane won't climb until we tell it how we want it to climb we now know it will level off there but how do we tell it to climb so the first mode I'm going to show you is to use the managed mode so in the Airbus, a common theme on this panel here, the FCU, is if you push uh, the knob, then the aeroplane will use its computed path to get there. Uh, if you pull it, it'll be a bit like a manual sort of override. So if I move the mouse and I see I've got the up and down arrow and then there's two dots in the middle, that means if I now left click with my mouse, it's going to pull the knob, but I want to push it in so that it flies at the computed profile so if I move it to the top half and see the one dot now I can click and it pushes forwards and what you see is we get thrust climb so the auto thrust is uh, spooling up the engines to go to their maximum climb thrust and climb mode climb mode means it's using the computed profile and obviously from here that would be uh, pretty much a, a maximum rate of climb up to flight level 200 uh, according to our cost index that we loaded in and you can see this little dot next to the altitude window telling us that that's the computed managed profile. If I was to put in a constraint into the FMGC uh, next to one of these waypoints, I could do that and then the airplane, because it's following this profile, will actually level off there and fly that and go magenta. Great, so that's one way and it will climb up and level off at flight level 200. If it's not doing this as we want, we also have the other option to do an open climb. If I move my mouse over and see I get lower down on the little uh, control knob for out, if I get two dots and I click, it pulls it. And we lose that little dot because now we've gone into open climb. So open climb means the Airbus will fly at uh, its thrust climb and the speed you set. So it'll just use thrust climb and whatever speed. So now, it's going to be very similar to what we had programmed because that's sort of a standard climb profile but uh, if I wanted to climb a bit faster I can adjust the speed so the same principle applies to the speed knob so if I go to two dots I can pull it which means now it's gone from magenta to blue so I'm controlling it and if I wind back on the speed so to 240 knots 
you'll see the airplane pitches up because it keeps climb thrust on. The engines are going to stay at climb thrust. And it's going to pitch up to apply that speed. So a slower speed would give us a higher angle of climb, uh, maybe not uh, a better rate of climb. So this would be if you maybe wanted to climb above some weather or air traffic control asked you to uh, climb a bit faster because they've got other aeroplanes around that they'd like you out of the way of, that sort of thing. And you can see it's climbing. Let's pretend that traffic control clears this a bit higher, up to flight level 300. So I can just keep scrolling up. And as we're already in a climb mode, if I set that to 300, you'll see it changes to 300. And it just keeps climbing. We don't need to do anything else because we're already in a climb mode, just climb and open climb. And up we go. Now, I can put that back to manage speed by getting the one dot and clicking and we get that increase and it'll go lower the nose and accelerate and climb at that speed. If we're in heading, so air traffic control may ask us to do heading, the same principle applies to set a heading. You can set the heading first and then pull. So I'll do that. I'm going to do 170 and then if I get to the two dots and click, it pulls into heading mode and we see it turn right like this off the track. Once we're in heading mode, we are not able to climb in a managed climb, which is what we'd call it. So now if I try and do one dot, it doesn't work. You see that? We stay in open climb. It can't go to climb mode. And that's because it's not on the, the green string that we drew out earlier. So it doesn't really know where it wants to be in terms of climbing. It can just guess. So for now, we just have to use uh, another mode, either open climb or actually vertical speed short. And up we go. If I want the airplane to return to Navso, I can push in with one dot to arm nav mode, but it won't arm because we're pointing away from the string. But I'll show you an example. If I push that, we get nav. Oh, it seems to work. We must be close enough. And you'll see it return to nav mode because I've pushed in with one dot, lost the uh, indicator up here, and now it turns around. Great. So there's some of the ways we can climb. There's one more way which is slightly rarer to use but if you were climbing too fast and you wanted to have a shallower rate of climb we can control it using vertical speed so on the right hand side of the fcu we have the vertical speed and it's exactly the same principle if i push it um, i'm telling the airplane to level off because it says push to level off if i pull it with the two dots i'm controlling the vertical speed so i'm going to select 1000 feet per minute and i haven't done anything yet so it doesn't appear and now I go to two dots and I click so it pulls and now we see the thrust changes it goes to speed mode because it wants to apply the speed we have selected and vertical speed plus 1000 and you'll see the engines have reduced thrust and now we are flying at uh, our correct speed and with a vertical speed of 1000 feet per minute great so we can control it uh, quite manually if I increase this now so let's say I wind it up to 2000 feet per minute you'll see the airplane will raise the nose and it will uh, increase that speed to 2000. You have to be very careful with vertical speed mode because if I was to wind the speed up too much, sorry the vertical speed up, so let's say I asked it to climb at 5000 feet per minute, the aeroplane will prioritize that 5000 feet per minute and you'll see now it's going to keep raising the nose and our speed is reducing so you've got to be very careful. It's gone to maximum climb thrust now which is all it can do and it's still trying to fly at 5000 feet per minute climb. It will slow down uh, but there are some protections, I'll talk about those in another video where the automatics will stop that becoming a problem. Now I'm climbing too fast so I can just go to one dot and push and that will always push the airplane to level off so it overrides most modes that you're in. And you'll see in the real airplane I would expect this to say VS0 not out. I'm not sure why it says that, that could be a bug with this simulator, it could be different fit of airbuses uh, but it's effectively going to level off for us and there we go straight away to a level off and now it's in speed mode so it will accelerate to that speed so simply I want it to return to flight level two, uh, 300 so I'm going to just go and I'm going to pull that two dots thrust climb open climb and continue to climb up to flight level 300 so there's some of our modes that we have to climb the Airbus uh, A321 as well as uh, our heading and nav mode difference between those two hopefully uh, that's uh, something different for you if you need to use one of those
Okay, so now we are approaching our cruise level, flight level 350. We can see that on the MCDU, we're expecting to cruise there. So we're still climbing in thrust climb and open climb. And as we go through a thousand to go, we're obviously going to monitor the airplane very carefully. And we'd expect it as it gets closer, the Airbus will go from open climb and we can see the ALT is written in blue, which means it's it's ready to level off. That's an armed mode. So open climb will change to out star and then out star will change to out as we uh, level off. If we're climbing very fast, that could happen earlier. And if we're climbing very slowly, so with a shallow rate of climb, so uh, maybe 500 feet per minute, then it will happen later as you get closer to the altitude. Once the airplane goes into out star, it enters a uh, sort of standard transition into level flight so it will flight uh, curve basically from where it is to level so here we go approaching 350 expecting to go to outstar soon looking up here Because this is our cruise level, there we go, out star, it'll go to out cruise instead of just out like it was earlier there at 500. And there we go, out cruise. So in out cruise level, it will maintain flight level 350 and our managed speed here, which is what the Airbus has ca calculated for our flight and it's our cost index that we entered. Out cruise means that it will be slightly softer, so it will let the airplane climb and descend just a little bit. Um, uh, talking, uh, it's about 150 feet, I believe, although that may be slightly different depending on the Airbus. Uh, and the engines will stay at roughly the same thrust. So the idea is, without having to constantly change the power of the airplane, just using a little bit of change in the altitude to keep the speed right, the Airbus will be a little bit more fuel efficient. So that's what out cruise is. And that's determined by this up here saying cruise. If we put in a different flight level, or if we weren't there yet, then uh, that would just be an out. And it might not be quite as efficient. There's a little difference there. And here we are. We are now in the cruise at level, having used our FCU. I hope this video on the climb modes uh, of the Airbus A321 by TOLIS have been useful for you. Uh, let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see in the comments in particular and I'll be doing more videos covering the descent modes and uh, obviously some of the approaches and so on. Uh, so do uh, leave me any feedback in the comments and thank you very much for watching.